A board, of course there needs to be a board. <laughs> Oh, they're using their magics anyway. <laughs> Is that all of them? The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. Oh no, there's still people that didn't agree. We left oh. heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. Mm -hmm. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup. Warmth, at last. Mm, in more ways than one, hopefully. <laughs> Marvelous, isn't it? Oh gosh. <laughs> All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Well, you're being the hostess with the mostest, aren't you? Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our laments and smiths that put the bloody things together. Yeah. Smiths, well, probably mechanics, but yeah. <laughs> Still. Oh, well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? How about you both did it? <laughs> the hells you did! We were there every step of the way! Don't pick a fight with the pirates. Come on, give him his due. We? You barely raised a finger to help you, ale sodden reprobate. Yeah, don't don't tell the pirate he's he's drunk. Come on. I did a damn sight more than you, you lily livered bilge rat. <laughs> oh no. Take that back. <laughs> this isn't a very good Mate. first impression. I will not stoop to your level. He's gonna smile, isn't he? I hope. Oh Here. no. Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. Oh. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it, and I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. It's terrible. <laughs> it's the little things that make life worth living, don't you think? Oh, it's okay, dude. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
you can rest now. It's okay. I know this is not a dream, and yet... I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. <laughs> Are these two gonna get together? <laughs> I mean, they kind of have a common history, don't they? It would be cute. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The Grand Company of Eorzea. The Ilsebad Contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. We often don't have the luxury of choice. No, I'm just gonna agree with her, as do I. I'm honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Galian both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Oh, the flower. Been meaning to get a picture of mine with the flower. I'm glad it's blue. It's my favorite color. <gasps> oh no, it's the roar. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. He wasn't near it. Emperor Forest. Somebody get a quirksy, please. No. They are being tempered. The talismans. Quickly. Shit. Talismans and porksies. One or the other, please. Not him. Please. Oh, I hope he gets turned back. Save me, brave hero. You bitch. <clears throat> 
My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. Whoa! You just yoinked me. Oh. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. Experiment? What did you do to me? I shall begin the preparations. Now, it is time for you to awaken. <laughs> Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. Borrowed flesh? What the... What did you do? So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. You put me in another body? What the hell? We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. Give me back my body, for real. <laughs> this is such a pain in the ass. This is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> no, give me back my body, dude. What did you do with my body? And permit you to go on a righteous rampage instead of partaking in this delicious meal? I think not. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. I've actually kind of had a fanfic in my mind about this. Us finally meeting over dinner and discussing things and trying... Reasoning with ourselves and... Think they want to kill Zodiac? Like, I don't know. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. Why is, uh. Why is he not speaking? It's weird. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. What is that? Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. Daddy? What? What's in there? Ah, exposition is in order. The Garlean Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solus Zos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. 
And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. What is this? The people cried out for salvation. It's animal. Their earnest pleas. One might even call them prayers. A supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. That's how Anima gets tied into the storyline. I see. And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. Oh? And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit, their Anima. Oh my gosh. <sighs> It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of anima itself. An ingenious design. Hmm. We do not agree, my lord. You're being way too quiet, dude. Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? <laughs> of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Oh, really? Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. Yeah? The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? Yeah, it's rude to walk out on a guest. There is only one thing that can sate my hunger. And it would seem my friend has lost her appetite. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion, but clearly we are above such pretensions. While my lifeless body was in the possession of the Asian, I too claimed another's as my own. 
Well, it was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. Oh. All together. Thought you wanted a good fight. Give me my body back. We'll have it. Whoa. Wait a minute. What do you do? Oh, he didn't go in my body, did he? Oh no. Wait. Oh dear! Whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends as you? I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. Holy crap. Oh, this is gonna be tear this oh my gosh dude what we'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath you can thank me later for my generosity can i have xenos's body <laughs> it would be stronger than whatever it is that you put me in right There it is. Your camp, I believe. Yes. If I were to hazard the guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making her way there as we speak. This is just a game for you, isn't it? Alas, this you will have to walk from here. Or run, if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Dude, get out of my way. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. What? Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. No. Crap. And all I got is a mangy sword. I don't even know how to fight with the sword. I'm a dragoon and a machinist and... Oh gosh. I can do this. I can do this. Heidelin knows who I am. I can do this. Okay, what's this? Rage of Halon. Excuse following actions. Quickly now. Fight or flight. Increases physical damage dealt. Reduces damage taken. Ugh. Ugh. 
crap. I don't have any potions on me. Not bad at all. Oh, crap. Given your diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows. Scurrying about like a rodent. The unfortunate soldier is carrying the medical kit. You use the medical kits to restore your HP while you can only carry a limited number. Okay. go away at all? Golly, where do I go? Maybe over here. To the gauge and surly remains itself, however, is damaged beyond repair. Okay. Where do I go?
know where I'm supposed to go. Ha, huh. I think something up there. Aha. Oh, we've had to open. Okay. There's an extra check reaper like has been damaged, but the weapon or you should still function. You may be able to clear a path if you can find the identification key and fuel. Repair its like though, it should still work here. Take this key. If it's out of Cerulean, you may be able to find more in the wreckage. Alright. Fuel. Ooh, and they're question marked.
past that. So fuel. Get away from it. Oh no. Okay, so I'm not that terrible. <sighs> Fine. Fuel is what I need to find. There's a reaper over there, and so is this over here. Fuel. Wreckage. Alright. Found the wreckage. Okay, I think. Come on. Refueling. Why aren't you facing it?
the legs bad. Can't move. Yes, that's it. There, please help us. Okay. This way. It's really dark. I can barely see. We'll make it out of this together. Hope so. All mistakes. Get back to the shelter. Unable to escape the blast, you begin to lose consciousness. Oh, man. I wasn't ready for that maneuver! Oh my gosh! Tap the button rapidly to maintain consciousness. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Golly, dude. You crawl to safety and regain consciousness. With the last of your strength, crawl to Camp Broken Glass. Where's Camp Broken Glass? Oh, this is gonna take forever. At death's door. I didn't make it, did I?
It is a miracle we were able to restrain the Tempered without suffering casualties. A welcome one. Arun, Senna, and the others have their hands full as it is. Thankfully, there are enough scales for everyone. And what of Eulus? His symptoms were particularly severe. <sighs> Man. They were, but others fared still worse, including some brought back from the Magna Glacius. As those in most desperate need take priority, it may be a while before he receives treatment. But rest assured that he will. In the meantime, we must find our missing friend. Of all the bloody times for a disappearing act. Right when the first wave struck, we'd be fools to think it a coincidence. But where even to begin the search? No one saw her leave in the chaos, and we've no trail to follow. While I know full well she can handle herself, I worry all the same. Thanks, Alfie. I'm not doing too hot. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh no, that's not me. Y'all know me better. Well, time to call off the search. <sighs> oh no. Is Xenos <laughs> gonna kill those two? Case closed. That's her, over there. <gasps> she can see. She doesn't see the way we see, she sees differently. Aye, twould appear so. Thou art struggling to perceive her presence? Yes, she is. I am. Perhaps, in the aftermath of the wave, there is some residual effect interfering with my faculties. But... No, you're good. You're, you're, you're correct. <laughs> Get away from me. Oh no. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. And now, now, all's well that ends well. Are you all right? Are you all right? Oh no. Run. Run. Who are you? Shit. Good boy, girl, huh? But you need to run. Gosh. Oh god, I thought they were dead. Enough, Xenos. At least they'll know who you are. If I call your name out. Oh, the light's not with me. Did the roar happen? Sadly, that is all we have time for today. The effect has run its course, and back to your own bodies you must go. You have all traveled so very far, and I have yet to pay my respect. What was that? What was... What was that? Though in my defense, I was ill-prepared to receive so many uninvited guests. As such, preliminary entertainments were in order. A handful of tempered soldiers to hamper your progress. Refugees to command your attention while I siphon the ceruleum from the shadows. Particularly effective, that Charitable souls that you are, you bent over backwards to aid them. Heedless of the delay, 
predictable to a fault. And so my plan approaches completion unhindered. Anima will soon have absorbed the requisite amount of ether, and then shall come the spectacle to end all spectacles. The eldest and most powerful of primals will awaken, and all shall bear witness to the final days! Man, you are psycho. Oh my gosh. The gods themselves will be my meal. Your dear companions my dessert. Upon this world I'll feast, and death shall follow in my wake. Man. All your hate, all your rage, you will render unto me. So, they just gave back my body? Like, what's that? For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads Of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. Vitra. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions As they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Take heart. And protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. Thank um, goodness. She's awake. Do I have my body? Or am I still in like a stranger? Oh, I do have my body. Okay, thank God. <laughs> So I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I am pleased to report you are very much alive. Thank you, Graha. Everything in working order? Oh. Relief. Oh, and before I forget, thanks for coming to our rescue. Given recent events, I would be surprised if you weren't feeling a bit poorly. Well, yeah. <laughs> I've had another person take over my body, my my nemesis. So I don't. It's been crazy. A hearty meal and a long rest would be my recommendation under normal circumstances, but these are anything but. If Van Daniel's boasts are to be believed, we must act quickly. Once you've blown away the cobwebs, we can discuss preparations for our assault on the Tower of Babel. Can I still get a hot meal? <laughs> still got any soup? <laughs> 